So today, I want to talk about how you can use this bad boy as a voiceover in Adobe Premiere. Coming up next. So today, I want to talk about how you can use the Zoom H1 inside Adobe Premiere as a voiceover. This thing is a must have. I can't tell you how many times I enjoy using this bad boy. This little device had helped me with weddings, doing shoots in the gym, doing outside shots. This, this thing is just an all around device. It's very portable. You can place it inside your backpack in a small little area. It's just, it's just budget friendly. This is the main thing why I love this thing. So let's hop into it and show you in Adobe Premiere. All right, guys, so I have Adobe Premiere open. So the first thing and foremost, what we're gonna to wanna to do is we wanna make sure that our audio hardware is assigned to the right one. So we, what we're gonna do is we're gonna to go to Adobe Premiere. We're gonna to go to Preferences. Where it says Audio Hardware, we're gonna click that. And for your default input and default output, we wanna make sure that these both says Zoom H1. And this is what we're gonna use as the microphone. So you're going to hit OK. What we're going to do is go to the audio channel one. We're going to right click. And where it says voiceover recording settings. And this is going to be the audio levels coming out of Zoom H1. Unfortunately, we have it all correct as far as the audio hardware. But the audio levels is not showing. And the reason why is because we don't have access to the microphone. But do not panic. Don't panic. What we're going to do is we're going to hit close. Whenever we're making changes through the computer settings, the changes are not going to take an effect on the project until you exit out of the project. So what I'm going to do is I already saved it. I'm going to hit X. I'm closing out of the project. What we're going to want to do is we're going to want to go to Apple, go to System Preferences, and where it says Security and Privacy, we're going to go here. And then where it says mic, microphone, we want to check box Adobe Premiere. We want Adobe Premiere to have that microphone turned on. So this is going to give us access to the microphone in Adobe Premiere. Once you do that, you hit exit. And then I'm going to reopen my project and give it some time. All right, so now that I got my project open, I don't need this. Now that I got my project open, now we can go back into right clicking. Right click, go to voiceover. And now we can see the microphone audio levels. Just, it's, that, it's that simple. So everything is working. Now let's just give it a test and see how everything is working. So what I'm gonna do is hit close I don't want to feedback to go from when I hit this record button. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to Premiere, Preference, and we're gonna to go to Audio. And we wanna mute we're gonna mute the input during the timeline. Because if you don't mute this, you're gonna hear that screeching feedback and it's gonna just hurt your ears. So check that, hit OK. And now when we hit this. Hey, welcome to the page, everyone, and today I'm hoping everyone is having a great day. Today is a lovely, lovely Saturday, and hoping everyone is out there driving safe. All right, so as you can see, everything is pretty much, pretty much, uh, pretty much there. This is the audio that was recorded. All right, so let's play it back. And see how everything sounds. Hey, welcome to the page, everyone. And today, I'm hoping everyone is having a great day. Today is a lovely, lovely Saturday. And hoping everyone is out there driving safe. All right, guys. So it's that simple. It's just that plain simple. Just those little bit of steps. And then you good. So that's it, guys. So that's all you have to do. You may have to go through a couple of steps, tweak a couple of settings, close your project, open your project, and kaboom, there you go. 
you have the voiceover using the Zoom H1 inside Adobe Premiere. So that's all I have for today. I hope everyone having a great holiday. Stay tuned for next week. More tutorials and tips on how to be a filmmaker. Until next time, guys, have a great one and Merry Christmas.